Hello there and I'm the student and today I wanted to show you that there is a hidden fifth path of the Teutonic Order how and how to play the Teutonic Order as of course most of you know that the first path is to conquer all of these steps and become a Catholic Mongol Empire and the other three paths are basically becoming Prussia with either going for the Prussian Kingdom path, as you can see in this case, or with the Prussian Diplomacy path, which uh, with a little bit of uh, shenanigans lets you become an, a very early Germany, or the German Conquest path that is intended for you to form Germany, but lets you only do that once you have Admintech 20. So those are basically the four paths of the Teutonic Order, but I can show you right now with this event over here that there is a fifth path. And you know, there is a disaster of course of the Teutonic Order, which is called the Prussian Confederation. And it starts always, if you do nothing about it, it starts always on 1450. And then there are two events how this can end. This is one of it. The other one is way more popular. The other one is the one where Danzig gets released and then supported by Poland and then basically defeats the Teutonic Order all the time if the AI plays it, right? But this one is the other way. And it comes if you get a special privilege over here that is already no longer elected as I got the end of the Teutonic State event already. But it is a privilege that you can enact as soon as you have the disaster active, which is basically called concede to the Prussian Confederation. And therefore it gives you a few minuses of uh, average autonomy, as you can see on 35%, I think. Uh, it will go down now, then the privilege is no longer active. But basically it has the upside that the Danzig Confederation won't rise up against you. And instead this event is able to happen. And you can see you could of course do that, which is a devastating option, never choose it. But you can also become Danzig. And this is literally the only way to play as Danzig without being, of course, a releasable nation. And it is even so broken that you can literally get everything that you've got uh, conquered before that as Danzig. Which means that you could go for the Crusader path and conquer all of the steps and then get this event and change to a Danzig Republic. And uh, I'm just going to choose that right now. You can see I'll lose one stability, not that bad. Actually, I won't take the Danzig ideas because I think they are worse than the uh, Teutonic ones are, as you can see, pretty OP stuff over here. But you can see this is now totally, completely Danzig. And I have still my Livonian March and I have still the same Prussian mission tree except that I have a different mission tree on top of here. And as I already completed my Teutonic one on, on the top, this is basically extra missions, right? But not only that, the thing is that over here where you can unlock the future of Danzig, you can actually become a Prussian militarization republic, which has militarization, same as Prussia, and can be done even without admin tech 10, which you normally need to form uh, Prussia, of course, and without changing uh, your religion. And uh, this is actually quite a shorter video right now because this is not the end of this game for me. I'm going to push this game a little further and you're going to see next week why this is so important what I'm doing over here. So keep being excited for that because this is a really interesting video that uh, I'm going to make out of this. But uh, this is going to be it for now. You can uh, basically go explore what uh, this means for the Danzig gameplay because uh, there is maybe one or two things that you could easily do uh, as well with Danzig. But uh, this is it for today, so I hope you enjoyed this uh, shorter video for uh, this week and we are going to see on the next Monday.